Hey guys, what's up? I am Vikash for Skyline Motions and today we are going to create a very trendy dual tone text animation inside of DaVinci Resolve that you can use as an intro inside of your project. So without wasting any more time, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16 and before we get started, we have to do some basic setting. So click on this setting button and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080. Let's go with any frame rate. So in this case, I'm using this 60 frame per second and we have to set this playback frame rate equal to this timeline frame rate. So I'm going to set this value 60 and click on save. Now I'm going to design this motion graphics inside of this uh, fusion page. So we have to take a new fusion composition to start this work. So just go to this media pool, right click on that and here click on this new fusion composition. So I'm going to call it fusion and set the duration of this composition 5 second long which is good enough for one text and set this frame rate 60 click on create and just drag this fusion comp on this uh, timeline and then go to your fusion page. And here we have media out node. So just drag this media out to the side for now. And for this one, we have to import an image file. So just go to this media pool, right click on that, click on this import media. And in this case, I'm using this image that I have downloaded from unsplash.com and I will provide a link in the description. So just go to the link and download this image if you want and click on open. And just drag this image on this flow window and close this media pool and drag this image to the viewer and hit F2 on the keyboard to rename and call it image. Hit OK. And now we have to create an image controller node. So just select this image and click on this transform button to add a transform node. And this transform gonna be our controller. So hit F2 on the keyboard to rename and call it controller. Hit OK and here we have to animate the size of this image. So just go to the end of this animation, right click on size, click on animate and go back to very first frame of this animation at frame number zero. And here let's increase the size of this image. So I'm going to set this value something around 1.7. Hit enter and just drag this controller to the viewer. And now we have a nice animation as you can see, but right now this animation is linear. So I'm going to make this animation smoother. So just go to this spline window, check this option controller, click on fit button, select these both keyframes, hit S on the keyboard to smooth, or you can also click on this smooth button. Set the CTI at very beginning of this animation at frame number zero, hold this handle, and just create a nice smooth curve like this and close this spline window and right now we have this image in portrait mode so i'm going to fit this image according to the project setting so hit control plus a space bar for search box or you can also hit shift and a space bar for search box and search for crop node so this is our crop node hit add button and now Connect the output of this controller with this crop node and drag this crop to the viewer and select this controller and let's set this image in the center of this frame just like this and for better result just right click on this uh, frame and turn on the guide it will help you to find out the exact center and now i'm going to convert this image into a black and white image so just select this crop and click on this uh, color corrector button to add a color corrector node. Just drag this color corrector to the viewer, hit F2 on the keyboard to rename and call it CC for color corrector. Hit OK and just go to this inspector window and here we have saturation which is the value of the color. So set this saturation value 0 and make it uh, black and white and here we have contrast. So let's set this contrast value something around 1.5 hit enter all right and after that we have to create a text node so click on this t button to add a text node place it over here drag it to the viewer and let's type anything that you want 
and select your favorite font style so in this case i'm using this uh, gotham font style and of course you can choose any different font style that you want and set the size of this text something around 0.6 we have to set this text in the center so just set it like this and now we have two output the first one is looking like this and the second one is looking like this and now i want to place this image inside of this uh, text shape so what we have to do we have to take a new merge node so click on this merge button and add a merge node and here we have two points so i'm going to use this text as a background and this output as a foreground so connect this yellow background point with this text and green foreground point with this color corrector and drag this merge one to the viewer and right now our foreground is over on this background so just select this merge one and go to this inspector window and here we have operator so we have to change this foreground over to in and we get this type of output as you can see and after that i'm going to create a split kind of uh, effect so hit ctrl plus a spacebar for search box and search for displace so this is our displace node hit add button and attach the output of this merge one with this displace and drag this displace to the viewer and as you can see nothing is happening here because we need an alpha image for this effect so for that we have to add this uh, background node just drag this background to the viewer make it pure white and here we have to attach a rectangle mask with this so select this background click on this rectangle button to add a rectangle mask and select this background call it alpha select this alpha and attach this alpha with this displace foreground point and drag this displace to the viewer and after that select this rectangle and just create rectangular shape just like this all right and after that select this displacement and here we have to change this radial to x and y and here we have x reflection so just go to very first frame of this animation right click on x reflection click on animate and go to on frame number 100 and just set this x reflection value something around 0 0.01 go to on frame number 200 and let's set this value negative 0 0.01 and go to the end of this animation and again set this x reflection zero and now we get this type of uh, a split effect and right now this is a linear animation so let's make it smoother just go to a spline window hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen click on this fit button and this time uncheck this controller and check this displace one only click on fit again select all the keyframes click on a smooth button and just set this uh, handle like this and close this spline window all right and after that i'm going to place this uh, effect inside of a rectangular box so we have to create a matte node so for the matte node just take a new background node hit f2 on the keyboard call it matte And we have to attach a rectangular mask with this select this one click on this rectangle button to add a rectangle mask and just drag this mat to the viewer let's create a rectangle like this so I'm gonna set this width value something around 0.75 all right and after that we have to take a new merge node so just take a merge node and uh, I'm gonna place this uh, output inside of this rectangular shape so we have to connect this yellow background point with this mat and green foreground point with this uh, displace one and just drag this merge two to the viewer 
and after that select this merge to and go to this inspector window and here we have operator so we have to change this over to in all right and now it's looking perfect and after that let's animate the text so select this text one and go to very first frame of this animation go to layout and here we have center x so just drag it right over here like this and right click on center click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and go to the end of this animation and again drag this text right over here like this and now let's make this animation smoother so go to spline window hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen and this time uncheck this displace check this text one only click on fit button select these both keyframe hit s to smooth set the cti right over here and hold this handle and just create a nice smooth curve like this and close this spline window and now let's create our main text so click on this text button to add a text node just drag this text to the viewer and here we have to type same thing in capital letter and select your favorite font style so in this case i'm using gotham and just set the size of this uh, text something around 0.1 and after that we have to animate this tracking so just go to the end of this animation right click on tracking click on animate and go to very first frame of this animation and set this tracking value something around 1.5 and we have to change the color of this text to pure black and let's create a rectangular shape for this text so we have to take a new background node hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and call it uh, bz for background and attach a rectangle mask with this so select this background click on this rectangle button to add a rectangular mask place it like this and drag this background to the viewer and select this background node make it pure white and after that we have to attach this background with this text so we have to take a new merge node and connect this yellow background point with this background and green foreground point with this text too and drag this merge 3 to the viewer and select this rectangle 3 and let's create a rectangular shape just like this so i'm going to set this height value something around 0.15 all right and after that we have to set this uh, text in the center of this rectangular shape so select this text hit control and scroll up to zoom in and just set it in center and after that we have to animate the rectangular shape also so select this rectangle 3 go to the end of this animation and here we have width so i'm going to set this width value 0.45 and right click on width click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button go to very first frame of this animation and set the width value one click on fit and as you can see we have this type of animation but right now this is a linear animation so let's make it smoother just go to a spline window hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen and for this one we have to uncheck this text one and we need to check this text two only so just uncheck this rectangle three and click on fit button select these both keyframes hit s on the keyboard to smooth set the cti at very beginning of this curve and hold this handle and just set it like this and create a nice smooth curve and do the same thing for this uh, shape layer so uncheck this text to check this rectangle 3 click on fit button select these both keyframes hit s on the keyboard to smooth and hold this handle and just create a nice smooth curve like this and close this spline window all right and after that we have to merge both the output so 
let's take a new merge node and connect this yellow point with this green point with this and drag this merge 4 to the viewer and finally we have to attach a white background with this so take a new background make it pure white take a new merge node and connect this yellow background point with this background green foreground point with this merge 4 and drag this merge 5 to the viewer and finally we have to create a rectangular shape so let's take a new background hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and call it a stroke and let's attach a rectangle mask with this and just drag this stroke to the viewer select this rectangle 4 and let's create a rectangle shape just like this so i'm going to set this width value 0.8 height value 0.55 and uncheck this solid box and set this border width value something around 0.003 all right and finally we have to merge this stroke with this main output so take a new merge node Connect this yellow background point with this merge 5, green foreground point with this stroke and just drag this merge 6 to the viewer and after that we have to connect this uh, media out node with the main output. And after that just go to edit page and as you can see this is the brighter one and now I'm going to create the dark one. So select this fusion composition hit ctrl C to copy and Place the CTI right over here, hit Ctrl V to paste. Place the CTI on second composition, go to your fusion page. And here we have to change the background first. So select this background, make it pure black. Select this stroke, make it pure white. And here we have to change this background pure black. Select this text and change this text color pure white and we have to change the text also so select this text one and let's type your second text select this text two and type same thing in capital letter and we have to adjust the position of this uh, text so select this text one go to very first frame of this animation where we have created a keyframe and let's drag this right over here go to the end of this animation where we have created another keyframe and just drag it like this just go to edit page and here our text animation is ready for render and let's have a look Alright, so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when I will upload my new video and I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, bye bye.